Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Now You Know. We're driving down to the National Drive Electric Week in Brookline, Mass. Come along, will you? Look, Dad, we're behind a, another Model X. Hey, a P90D Ludicrous. Wow. That's awesome. I wonder if he's going to the same place we're going. I, I, I think so. <laughs> you think? All right, looks like here we are. That's, that's beautiful. Ludicrous. Oh, looks like we've got some people here. This is very exciting. With over 200 events throughout the U.S. and Canada, National Drive Electric Week is celebrating the fact that electric vehicles are no longer a rare thing to see on the road. In fact, as of this week, there have now been over 500,000 plug-in EVs sold. There's more than two dozen EVs available. National Drive Electric Week provides consumers, the media, and policymakers the perfect opportunity to understand why half a million drivers in the U.S. have made the switch to electric. Electric vehicles are better for our climate, they save consumers money, and are fun and convenient to drive. Oh. 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 <laughs> I pushed it, but it didn't Somewhere, is it? Yeah, that wasn't in the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I need a volunteer. Can you stand about a foot away from the door? Okay, you can both stand. Yeah. All right, good. I'm going to open it. But why didn't you order the room? Okay. No. You ready? But I thought, oh, because in the movie they had it. Oh, okay. So the doors have sensors in them, so they're not going to hit anything that's next to them. So if they can't make it all the way up, then it's stop, right? Don't tell me. Yes, wintergreen mints, very important on a road trip. Yeah, so we drove all the way to San Francisco in this car. And we took this route. See all those red dots? Those are all superchargers. You want a tablet? Yeah! Look at that! Huh? I'm in a car! Can we play Pokemon Go on this? I wish you could. You can you can get online, but I don't think you can play Pokemon Go. Yeah. Well, no. It's good for finding Pokemon yeah. though. All the way back this way. See that way to Montreal and then back. So 8,000 miles, 25 states, 75 superchargers. Alright guys, so we're leaving the Electric Drive Electric Week <laughs> National event. National <laughs> Drive Electric Week. It's kind of, it doesn't roll off the tongue. No. We had a great time. We met a lot of really nice people who so drove nice people. really nice electric cars and... All different kinds. Every kind you can imagine. Met a guy who's building, he's building an amphibious electric car. That is awesome. So the, what we saw was just stage one. Uh -huh. It was just the, ba the bare So this is the plywood one? Yeah. Okay. So you're you're seeing the, it now. The bare frame of it is uh, really interesting look he, that's just the base frame he's gonna you know he's gonna add he's gonna spruce it up and i heard that he's got power steering for it that he can turn on and off so like when he doesn't need to use power he just shuts off the power steering how wow. smart is that <laughs> that's awesome so what what does he want to do with it invade countries or something um i don't know but we got his contact information so maybe we'll do an episode on him. oh that'd be great that'd be so fun i'd love to visit him so other things we saw we saw a lot of nice friendly tesla people we saw a lot of our viewers shout out to you guys yeah so nice to meet you, you. know who you are just awesome what a great positive response uh, it really, was. really makes us you know feel good for doing what we're doing you know one thing that surprised me yeah is that we came all prepared with like clipboards of uh, sign-up sheets to do test drives yeah and um, we only gave one test drive yeah no one wanted to go for a ride I don't know if they were afraid or I think everyone was busy after the after the event yeah you know having it end at noon means that you go and do something else for the right. rest you already of had your Saturday planned. so yeah my advice for future events and I think something we want to try and do more of is go to events that aren't just for electric car people that already know about electric cars right but also to get the word out to the general public and so what we're looking for and we're putting a shout out to you guys this is a challenge we would like to find a celebrity um, someone that everyone kind of knows of it doesn't have to be Tom Hanks Aww. but someone who might be already into EVs as well who would be willing to come out to some events to lend their name um, 
maybe they already drive an EV and they want to lend their car as well, to get the general public to come who'd be like, oh, this celebrity's going to be there, they're signing autographs and stuff, right. I'd like to go. And that way you get people who aren't just EV fans, right. who would come out to the event and then also be exposed to EVs. Right. Another thing that we were thinking about, you can only get across so much information to someone when you're parked in a parking lot. Like right. it's, We can do parlor tricks with the X, which is awesome. We can open the doors and we can do summon and we can get wows and stuff. And that's great. Awesome. Right. We love that. We love to get people in the car and talk to them about it. But let's let's face it, right. the, the amazing parts of this car are when you drive it. Right. It's so, what it was made to do and it does yeah. it so well. And it's not just about the speed. Yes, it's awesome to get them in the car and have it go fast. Um, but it's also about showing them how well engineered it is, how functional it is. Because I think for most people, they think of electric cars the way I did back in the day, which is like this weird, someone built it themselves and it drives funny. Um, and we're beyond that now. Right. But it drives yeah. better than a normal car. Yeah. Because you don't have the rickety engine and the, you know, you don't have an, any kind of crazy transmission or something like that. I mean, I just love giving test drives because you get to see the range of, of like, oh my gosh, this windshield. You don't know it until you're driving in it. Right. Or is the car on? Right. Like, did it stall? Right. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Um, and then when you tell them it goes fast and you're like, prepare yourself, it goes fast. Here, I'm going to go fast. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Um, it goes fast right. and they can't, they are not ready for that because there's never been a time in your life let me just put this out to you if you have not driven a Tesla yeah. there's never been a time in life unless you've been on a roller coaster or you've taken off from taken off from your hair carrier. Yeah. I mean, there's there's hardly any times in your normal life where, where you feel get, that where you feel that acceleration, and it's not just for the fun of it, but it's also for when you need it. I mean, there's so many times when you I don't even think you realize you need it because you just don't have it. Right. When there's so, a truck or something, and you just need to get out of there. Yeah, and you just you sit there going, oh, I wish I could, but right. here you don't have to do that. And I just love to show people, you know what? If you had an electric car, or a Tesla, you would be able to do that, which could save you some time. Yeah. Oh, you know. Another thing I learned, Jesse, yeah. um, at that event, is that I've been kind of on the fence about this program at MIT where they put, um, they're trying to learn about autonomous driving and they put some cameras in your, your car yeah. and um, they sign you up for this experiment. Yeah. Um, and I, I learned about it and I was kind of on the fence because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to have cameras stuck in my car and looking at my face. And But I got to meet them today really nice people yeah and so we've decided to go ahead and do that and so um, you're gonna see us in future episodes getting that put in our car um, and we'll tell you more about it so be looking for that in the future that we're gonna be part of this autonomous driving um, autopilot test study um, which will get more and more data for Tesla and for other companies to know about what are the effects of autopilot on drivers and 